Hello everybody, how are you all doing? I had OPR today. I do still have all my belongings packed because I have OPR again tomorrow, so I'm just leaving everything in there. I was good for four days today, but obviously did not get used. I was kind of hoping for a trip. However, when I got home and started to unpack like my toiletry stuff, I realized that I didn't pack my moisturizer. So God was kind of watching out for me by not giving me a trip today, because that would not have been good. I did just film a video that will have already gone live by the time this goes up. So if you have not seen that yet, it is my 15 travel essentials. I will leave a link to that down below so you can go check that out. So Keith is calling me, so I will be right back. What's up guys? Me going to work out. It is 8 20. 8.30. Ooh, that AC is blasting. I was going to do legs today. But considering it's 8.30 and the gym closes at 10, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do legs. So I think we're gonna have to go with like shoulders, chest, and tries. I will, I'll let you know. What's up guys? I am about to head out for OPR. It is the four o'clock OPR. Got myself a bang, which is a energy drink, but it doesn't have all of like the crap stuff that monsters do. Right now, I am about to load up my lunch box, put my uniform on, and head out the door. I am hoping to get a trip, but we'll see what happens. Obviously, I'll let y'all know if I get anything. I am in Indianapolis right now. I got called. For this obviously out of OPR about seven o'clock so we had about 45 minutes left before we were done it was a recrew because the flight that was supposed to work it was delayed coming in from their earlier flight today was just Charlotte to Indianapolis it was a 59 minute flight we are just on the Airbus 319 so there are only three flight attendants there's the a position which is the lead I realized that I've never really explained the positions uh, in detail. I won't do international positions. I'll just do domestic positions. The A flight attendant or the lead or the number one um, Those are all interchangeable. They are the ones that work in first class. So and Make all of the announcements for my airline anyway. The lead does like pre-departure drinks for first class coordinates with the pilots and the gate agents about any like safety information or making sure that everything is done and the cabin is secure for a non-time departure and all of that jazz. The lead flight attendant gets the pilot's drinks if they want anything. So yeah, the lead is just, they're the lead and there's usually an extra, not usually, you get paid a little extra for being the lead because it's more responsibility and you typically have more work to do. I forgot to mention that during boarding, the AFA is also collecting jackets from the first class passengers and hanging them for them so that way it gets out of their way. And then also like during boarding and during the in-flight service, the AFA is addressing all of the first class passengers by name. The in-flight service for flights under two and a half hours, that just means serving drinks and snacks. But for domestic flights over two and a half hours, the A does have to serve drinks and meals. Now the meal services are a little bit more trickier than it seems. That means that we are double checking all of the meals and making sure that we have all of our required utensils on the plane before we even depart. We also have to take all of the drink and meal orders, which means keeping track of how many choices are available of each meal so that way we don't over quote unquote sell a meal. And when we're in the air, we are providing and collecting the hot towels, warming some mixed nuts in the ovens, serving those mixed nuts with their drinks, cooking the meals in the ovens, which can take about 20 minutes. We then have to place those meals on the trays in an aesthetically pleasing manner, which means that we can't just throw them on and call it good. Then serve the meals with the bread basket and refill drinks as needed. After everybody's done, we're collecting the meals. Then serving everybody a dessert, which can be something as simple as heating up and serving some cookies, or it could mean we are making an individual sundae for each first class passenger with a choice of up to five different toppings. Then we are collecting all of the desserts, refilling drinks, offering coffee, water, tea, finagling everything back into the carts for landing, offering mints, passing out the jackets back, thanking everyone for their business, telling them where their next flights are if they are connecting, 
just to name a few things. If I listed everything that the AFA is responsible for doing, then this video would never end. So the B flight attendant, which is my favorite position, uh, it can also be called the number two flight attendant. They are the ones that are in the back of the plane. So they are working on the in the galley for main cabin, setting up all of the carts, checking all of the equipment back there. That's something that I forgot with the lead flight attendant. Basically, there's equipment at each position, so each position has to check their designated equipment. Make sure that the galley is properly stocked before catering gets too far away, so that way if you need anything else, somebody can quickly call catering back and bring whatever is needed. If the bee is done setting up all the carts and everything, they'll go and kind of like shop bins as they get full and whatnot. Then the C flight attendant, which is what I am on this trip, is just, kind of like an extra. They just kind of float around a little bit during boarding. Typically during boarding, the C will start in front and greet all of the passengers because the lead flight attendant, as I said, is doing pre-departure drinks for first class, as well as greeting passengers, as well as like hanging up coats if they need to. Um, so the lead has a lot of responsibilities and the C will go up to the front just to help with all those responsibilities. Halfway or three quarters of the way through boarding, the C will typically go through and start closing bins and see how many more bins are open so that way we can relate that information to the gate agent so that way we know when we need to start checking bags. The C will always have to brief some sort of exit row. So today I had to brief, we were on the 319, we had two windows exits. I had to brief the people that were sitting in that row. What else does the C do? Uh, brief any passengers with disabilities or any unaccompanied minors. Um, that is also, that's a responsibility that the lead flight attendant and the C flight attendant share. The C flight attendant also works in the main cabin with the B flight attendant uh, serving the carts in the main cabin. The K is the extra position that is not necessarily with the rest of the crew. Sometimes they will be with the rest of the crew the entire trip. Other times they are completely on their own and they have a different crew with each flight. The K flight attendant is only on the 321, which is a four door, um, it has four like sections of exit doors. Um, so technically there's eight exit doors and the K is going to be at that third exit door and they have essentially all of the same responsibilities as the C except they don't go up and help the lead flight attendant. They stay in the main cabin during boarding but they pretty much have all of the same responsibilities as the C flight attendant. I hope that was educational for you guys and you have a better understanding of which all the, what all the positions are, at least for domestic. So when I get on and I'm just like, oh, I'm the lead or I'm the C or what have you, then you kind of have an idea of what I'm doing on my flights. I'm going to shower and go to bed. So I will see y'all in the morning. What's up guys? I'm clearly home now. And I don't know why I'm so tired because it was just one leg back to Charlotte, but I'm struggling. <laughs> now that I'm home, I'm off the rest of the day and I got an email this morning saying I have mail in my P.O. box. So I'm going to stop by there and pick up my, there he goes, and pick up my mail. I have to work out and it's about it. Oh my goodness gracious, can we just, what are you doing? Look how cute you are. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? You are in a whole nother mood today, aren't you? You're feisty today. <laughs> He's not having it. But you're so cute. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> uh, all right. Say bye-bye, Koa. No? Okay. What's up, everybody? So, once again, I just kind of completely forgot about my vlogging camera. <laughs> we ended up going to the All-Star Race, the NASCAR All-Star Race, uh, Saturday night, which I don't really follow NASCAR anymore, but I grew up watching it because my dad watches it. So, I grew up watching NASCAR every Sunday with my dad, and Keith got the tickets from his neighbor, just he couldn't make it anymore so just gave the tickets to us so myself keith and two of our friends ended up going and it was honest to god it was a blast like watching nascar on tv it can be boring but it's a totally different story when you're there it was fun i'm glad we went and then yesterday oh also saturday and yesterday uh, I helped Keith look at apartments because he's going to be moving in soon with um, one of his friends. That is about it. And now it's Monday. I'm off today, but I've got a lot of work to get done. So I am at Starbucks because I just cannot work in my apartment anymore. 
That's a whole nother story. I'm gonna end the vlog now and go get to work. Thanks y'all for watching. If you don't follow me on any of my social media links, they are all down below. Also down below are a bunch of frequently asked questions. So please check those out before you ask a question. I also have some frequently asked question videos as well as the terminology video. There's just a whole bunch of fun stuff down in the description bar. So please, you know, check that out. Until next time, work hard, be kind, and spread good vibes. I love you all, goodbye.